This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and it is Friday night, and I am ready to do some art. I have a stack of Happy Mail to open. A stack of Happy Mail. I'll open it in a bit. Let me put this behind me. Woohoo! Woohoo! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Mina. Hi, Renee. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I've had a busy couple days. That's all I can say. I've got Christmas cards to open here. And a couple packages. And I'm working on cutting a brick stencil to do for my diorama that I'm making. And Penelope's out here. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Clint. Hi, Lori Pink, girly. Mary, how did your brother do? He did very good. We are busy putting eye drops three times a day. <laughs> the first day, he had to do it every two hours, and he can't do it himself, so... Guess who gets to help? <laughs> so, uh, and but he's he does pretty good with this stuff. So, yeah, I'm I'm kind of glad it's over with. We had to go back today, and two days in a row. Um, it's a one hour drive up there and a one hour drive back, and boy, two days in a row tires me out. I slept all afternoon. So we're doing fine here. Haven't had any supper. We both slept all afternoon. I was, I was tired. Hi, Clint. Rhonda, Mina. Hi, Laura. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So while folks are coming in, maybe I'll just do a little work in my art journal. So I'm, I cut these pages for my um, ah, December Daily. And let's put these. These are the ones where I wrote the story of the little match girl on here. And of course, you aren't going to be able to do it, but that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Let me get my ruler out of here. I'm drinking salted caramel tea tonight. And let's get my art journal out. Let's see, today is December the 17th, and my last 13, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 16, 17, so I'm up with doing the background pages at least. So we're just going to put a page on here. Let's see. I think I'll start with this because it says the little match girl right up here. How's everybody doing tonight? These papers are so fun to do. I got this Somerset Studio Magazine out. Because I want to show you, um, I have done this before, but I was looking at this magazine, and in one of these pages, they, of course I won't be able to find it, they wrote with white on a dark color. And now that I want to find it, this is the most recent Somerset Studio. Let's just look at this. Let's just look at this. 
Somerset Studio kind of this is the um do, 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 do. this is the November, December, and January display until one twenty four. So this this covers January too. And love the cup of paint brushes. This is very interesting. This has inspired me. Um, this was done by Patty Wooten, W O O T T O N. And in her imagination, she's imagining a lady in Pierre, South Dakota, in an old Victorian house in the 1890s. She was an artistic visionary and an avid collector. The house was cold and drafty, but she had a good supply of oak to keep her stuff aglow and her spirit alive. Her tables and desks were cluttered with photos, memorabilia, and old books. So in her imagination, she is imagining this lady, a, an artist, who created journals and everything in the 1890s. And then she did a journal based off of that. How cool this is. This has inspired me. Um, I'm working on something else for this, kind of, in my, in my thought life. <laughs> this is all crumbled up. This is... Here's the page that inspired this. They just wrote on brown craft paper with white ink or white paint pen. But I had my drop paper and I was ready to change my drop paper. This was my paper that was on my desk and it was all painty and everything. And so I just wrote with my fine line paint applicator and I wrote the story of the the little match girl. So this, even though I've done this writing on papers before, when I saw this, I said, oh, that's what I'm going to do on my drop paper. So I like to, when I give it, Dee Dee says, when you read a magazine, get out a pen and make notes. Well, um, I didn't make a note there, but I did do it the next day and this one I that has inspired me I've been working in my Society of Idea Collector journal on what's inspiring me to do something like that so in a fold this one inspires me too and what they're doing here is they're taking an old book and opening it up and folding the pages back let me go grab a book here that I don't mind using and I'll show you because that I thought that was kind of cool, too. Let me grab a book over here behind my... I'm going to have to get boxes stacked up in here again. I don't know. They get stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. i got to move this. Let's see what this one is. We'll do Prudence. I'm not sure that I want to. I guess I could. I have this book called Prudence from F.O. Houston. H-E-U-S-T-O-N. It's got a pretty picture on there. This would make a nice journal, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure I want to do that with this. Uh, these pages are falling out. I think... We'll play with this with a journal. Maybe I'll play with that tonight. Since I got it out, let's reach for another one. Here. We need one that isn't too thick. Now I've got some pictures here. Hold the phone. Let me pull another one out. I like these these books when I find them. They're not too big. Her father's daughter. 
this one might work. This would make a nice journal too, but what they do is they go through and they they fold these pages like this for what she does. And it as, as you get a lot of them folded, it forms like an arcad type thing where you can slip uh, pieces in. Uh, these are kind of big. Or die cut. Let's get a. Let's get something that's not as. Here, this tag will work. And of course, I'm just doing this to show you. So, you know how I slip did it. It's kind of like a little mini arcad type thing. And they do the entire book, folding it that way. And then they. Let me put this out again here. Then they fold it open and see they put uh, die cut, bird die cuts in theirs. Here's an example of what they've done right up here. Really cool. It looks like they look like it looks like they put it in some sort of a napkin holder or something here. So kind of interesting. And then we get papers. And then we're getting into spotlights on different art that's been sent in. This is all about nature art. The language of flowers. You don't need bold colors to make a statement. Black and white are classic combination for a reason. So... They challenge you to do different things. They're challenging you to put black and white on this page. And here they're challenging you to make an acrylic skin. And look, they doubled this. You don't need bold papers and you don't need bold papers. Acrylic skin challenge and the acrylic. They put this challenge in twice. How cool is that? Vintage Memories for Farm Life. So, this lady went all around her farm. This was by Crystal Doyle. No, it was by... Yeah. That was just one page. A Mad Scientist. This is with Mary Beth Shaw talking about all of her experiments with stenciling. A Board Book Reimagined. I don't have a board book that... I'm going to have to get some more board books. Don't have one available. Here's some paper that you can use. Two pages. They scatter their free paper throughout the magazine. There's another family history. Was Did I not see one over here? Oh, look. A family history by Marilyn Roan and a family history by Marilyn Roan. But it's two different ones, two different spotlights here. They put her, they spotlighted her twice. There, here's an art journal. And this one is a dedication to a fellow artist who passed away. And she's doing art in memory of her. And this is an accordion style book. And this was kind of fun. Maybe we'll do this doodle challenge. Let me stop and welcome people in. Lori says, Mary, I've done that with just a book block, and it works great to hold little bits. Ooh, that would be fun to just keep out on my desk. Maybe I'll do that tonight with this. You know, and I stack all this stuff over here. Over here, you can kind of see stuff like, well, here's that wreath cluster that I made that, I put all my other wax clusters away, but I kept this one out because <laughs> I liked it so well. So I might do that tonight, finish that up. But let's play with this doodle since I'm here. Um, let, even with this pen, maybe? No, not this one. Let's see. Let me find a good pen to play with it. No. What's on the back of this?
Oh, I don't know if I want to mess that up. Let me get my pen off of this. I like these S gel pens. Sharpie just come out with these. They're called the S gel. You can get them at, at Walmart. I like them a lot because they have a nice, they're like a 0.7. And they have a nice medium flow of ink, and they don't soak through. So what they're doing on this is they gave us a bunch of shapes here, squares and ovals. And they're challenging us to make frames. Let me zoom in just a little. They're challenging us to make... That's too much. There. To make frames. And like they did some here and I was of course you know I think I think organic sometimes like vines twisty vines and leaves And let's just put some dots on there. Hmm. So it's fun. It's just more doodly doodly stuff here. They're called the Doodle Even More Frames. So this is fun to do. I do like these challenges in the Somerset Studio magazines. They inspire me. Let's do the same thing over here. So make you a square on a piece of paper or a rectangle. This is more rectangle. And doodle a frame in here, in it. You can work along with me. I'm sure Somerset Studio won't mind. I get inspired from this magazine a lot. Uh, let's go up here. Let's put some dots on here. This one, this one gets, I'm a little bit, this is anything I'm, I spend more time on this stuff than I should, maybe. And of course, I want to do it here, too. So I hope everybody is heading into next week is Christmas week. Are you all ready for the Christmas coming our way? We have to go up there next Wednesday again. And I didn't feel like doing any shopping. I was going to do some shopping today. And by the time we got out of the doctor's office, I was tired and I just wanted to come home. We did a little grocery shopping. We did a little grocery shopping and then we came home. That driving tires me out. It, traffic wasn't bad, though. It wasn't bad traffic. I don't like that. Let's put some dots in here. All right, there's one. And you could do something like, uh, where, where would it be? Maybe over on one of these squares. Um, little, little people sitting on the, this isn't where I'm going with this, I guess. Not exactly what I was thinking, but let's just shade it in and go on. Hmm. 
little characters holding on for life here, I think. We'll put him holding him up, and we'll put him holding this one up. Little, kind of like little stick figures here. Little characters holding. Let me hold it up so you can see it better. They're holding each other up all, along the frame. And, oh man, you could sit here all, the after, all evening and play with this stuff. I'll finish this one and then move on. Uh, let's see. Give him a torso here, and he's going to be sitting on the frame. Hmm. <laughs> this one's holding on for dear life <laughs> all right well that was kind of fun got little characters running around the frame there <laughs> and this one is just an organic one and you know you could I might come back and do some more. I don't want to spend too long on this tonight. Let's move on and look and see what else is in here. Let's see. The Happiness of Being Enchanted. Bird Studies. I was upstairs getting those Christmas decorations out. And I ran across a little book of Birds of Nebraska. And I thought that would be fun to do something like this with that book. This is a found object collection where they just find stuff. This looks very Western to me. Marley's Ghost. They did a 3D illustration of Marley's Ghost here popping out of a book. I thought that was neat. Here's the black and white inspiration where they just did black and white. I think... Um, Rosemary Morris did a black and white journal. Opening moves. This is chess. Chess. And they gave us some paper here to play with. This is Mary Beth Shaw stenciling. Got some free art paper from Mary Beth Shaw. Here's a diorama. Live in the moment. Here's a fun diorama right here or shadow box but this is a diorama they put the trees and the butterfly and a it's cool here's some quirky boho paper dolls layered letters this is mixed media
paint a small circle on the page, making sure you're not gripping the brush too tightly quickly and without thinking too much, draw or paint simple petals around the circle. If desired, add dots or doodles. So I love these challenges that they give us. And these are just gallery of mixed media. This is Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole. Book plates. I thought that would be fun to do from the library of. I thought it would be fun to do book plates for all my journals. Wouldn't that be a fun challenge? And here they gave us a, a free pattern page. A free paper. More free art paper. And more gallery art. Really inspires me here. This is a banner. I think it's made out of a curtain valance. Tear small strips from your work. Attach here. We've all been there. You spend hours and hours on a collage or journal page only to find yourself unhappy with the result. Think twice before tossing it. While the piece as a whole may not be great, there are a ton of little elements worth saving. So they're saying if you did a page, an art page that you don't like, look for look for the little pieces in there that you do like and attach them here. Use a paper punch to punch circles from your work. Glue your favorites here. Find a section that's a little bit too busy. Paint over it with a light wash. And here they're challenging you to work in little small squares. Just a, I like the challenges that they do in here. And I do like this page um, for techniques because they have given us 12 techniques to use here. Tear a vintage postage stamp in half. The webbing from an old book pay, uh, spine. Oh, there's more over here. This would be neat for um, to do for prompts. To come back to that. And then we get into the advertis advertisement. Which I like to see too. Here's a Wendy Vecchi stylus set. Dina Wakely Mixed Media Chipboard Shapes Women. There they are with Silhouette. Tim Holtz Frosted Distress Crystals. Very cool. So, yeah. I like the Somerset Studio. I buy this off of the... When I find it, I buy it off of the shelf. I buy it retail. The art journaling magazine I have a subscription for. Okay, let me come out to chat and look at the chat. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Jude. Welcome, Jude. Rhonda's here. Jude says she loves that magazine. Love a good game of chess. Gosh, I haven't played it for two years. Um, I, I, uh, I don't play chess. Uh, I don't know all the rules. <laughs> Angie was here. It looks like she was here. She says, I'm going to go. She's not feeling good. Renee is here. Tim was picked in. Hi, Tim, if you're out there. Renee, Rhonda. Yeah, I was doodling. Sherry says, I'm okay, Jude. My hands have been sore from knitting and gathering of ideas so I can make my grandkids journals at some point. Jude says, Merry Christmas to all you from Mary's team. Stay safe and and show love wherever you go. Aw. Angie says she's ready for Christmas and her birthday. Jude says she's good. She's enjoying retirement and cleaning out the whole house.
Lori says, Mary, I've done that with a book block. Uh, yeah, this is kind of, this is interesting to make folds out of. We might come back to this later tonight. I'm going to keep it out. Just like I need another project, but it would be nice to catch all my little pieces. Let me put a couple pages in my background pages at least. Um, and I'm using yes paste to do that with. This won't take too long. Welcome to everybody who's come in. We're heading into Christmas next week. Are you ready for Christmas? Are you ready, ready, ready? I thought I might like to do, after I do get this done, I thought it might be fun to do, uh, in this Christmas journal, do a pick 10 on one of these pages. I thought that might be fun. So after I get this pasted in, let's do a pick 10. And we'll do a Christmas one so that I can keep it in my December daily. Uh-oh. I didn't. I didn't put a paper on this. Let me, let me open my yes paste here. It is glued down. <sighs> All I'm doing here is breaking that glue seal. There it goes. All righty. Let's just put one page down in here, and I think we'll do a pick 10 or a pick 12, a dirty dozen. I'm getting tired of putting nothing but cards in my, I think I'll make a pocket. You know, one of these extra pages that I have that just have a part of it might make a nice pocket. It might make a nice pocket. Okie dokie. I think that's pretty good. And we're just going to put this right down in here. Down in there. I've been watching uh, recipe videos. And uh, one lady made Christmas toffee. And really, that's not a that's not a hard recipe to make. 
um, it's just sugar and and water and you cook it until it forms a light uh -uh. well they say they cook it to the hard crack stage but um, one lady said she goes more by color and then you just melt chocolate over it and I thought you know that's pretty easy to make I might make some toffee I, I thought I might go shopping tomorrow, but I don't know. I might wait till next week. I All that driving tires me out. Two trips in a row is just about all I can handle. I'm getting old. So this is day 17. Let's do let's do a, a a dirty dozen or a pick ten. I think a pick ten on this page because twelve prompts is just about too many. I'm gonna save the scraps here. Twelve prompts is about too many. And I'm going to do them on this page right here because I already have my wax paper under that. And we'll cover this one with, we'll cover it with something. <laughs> so I'm going to write my prompts out on this, out on this. And I'm going to ask you guys for prompts. So I need 10 Christmas prompts. Ten Christmas prompts from you all. Let me go down to chat here. So, we're going to just do a pick ten. And this is 12, 17, Friday, 12, 17, 20, 21. And I'm going to say the theme is Christmas or winter, Christmas slash winter. And uh, so let's do, let's do 10. And um, let's do some alternates. I'm going to put a wild card as an alternate. And we'll have two others. Baking. And decorating, decorating as a prompt, decorating, baking, however you want to interpret those two. Let's put color because I, th I think I'm going to make color my first prompt. Let's change these two around, make this three and this one. Baking would be hard. Well, I'm thinking maybe you could put what you bake, like slices of nut bread or cookies. You could draw cookies out on your page. Stars. Stars. Oh, yeah, you could do gingerbread men. We'll put gingerbread men here. Baking gingerbread men. Jude says... That's why Hubster hates wanting to play with me, because I get them every time. Mary, you should put a piece of wax paper over the lid before putting the cap. I know. I know all that, but I don't do it.
glitter. You guys are, you guys are, I've got some glitter glue, but it takes so long for it to dry. Glitter, you can always go to the alternate if you don't like glitter. Eggnog making. How could I do eggnog making? Let's put that as an alternate. Eggnog making. I guess you could put eggs and what do you put in there? Um, milk or cream? You could put the ingredients on there. Lace. Hi, Beth Schuler. Welcome, welcome. We're getting ready to do a fiber or fabric. We're getting ready to do a pick 10. I need three more prompts and one more well, one more alternate. Ribbon, ribbon. Good to see you, Beth. I got a whole stack of cards. I think I got cards from everybody in the swap now. Gold, gold. <laughs> Border, and now I need an alternate. Border is good for the tenth one. One more alternate. Christmas drawings. All right. You could draw Christmas or doodle. I'm going to put drawings or doodles slash doodles. All right. So we're going to start out with some color on our page. And for some reason or another, I am thinking light blue. I'll just leave these right here. So if you guys want to see them, you can. And I'm just going to follow down and you can work along with me if you want to work on it. Or you can work on these as you, as you wish. I need a light blue. Here's an ocean blue, and I think I'll mix it with some white. For some reason, I'm going to light blue in my head. And let me get a towel out here. Eggnog is a drink. How did it turn into an art piece? <laughs> Eggnog is a drink. That would be a, it'd be kind of a challenge though, wouldn't it, Mina? Yeah. You could put the, you could put a glass of eggnog on your page. Yeah, get my brush out here. I don't like a wet brush. You guys know that. I don't like a wet brush, but I leave them in the water. Okay, let's put some white over that. I'm doing the color first. I mixed one and three. I got color, baking, and decorating. So decorating, you could just Put ornaments, you know, draw some ornaments. I'm tempted to put these. There's 10 prompts, but I'm tempted to do like a shadow box and do a prompt or two prompts in each. I think I'm going to do a shadow box. Um, let me show you something here. Let me paint my background and I think I'm going to do mine in the style of a shadow box because this is my, uh, this is my December journal, my daily, my December daily. Oh, let's get it out here. Of course. Let me move this off to this. 
Okay. Something like this. Oh, my page is warping on me. Where's my heat gun? What happened to my heat gun? No, oh, it got covered up over here. Let me unwarp this page. So I'm thinking of something shadow box like what we have right here. And we could put a, a glass of eggnog in a shadow box and put like an egg, <laughs> decorate an egg and put on the side of it. You drink eggnog in a mug, don't you? Can you drink it in a, in a glass? I don't drink eggnog. Do they typically drink it in a glass or in a in a cup? How do you drink your eggnog? The color of the eggnog with dots of brown for cinnamon. Ooh, that sounds good. That's an idea. So I want this in rows of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right here. I can do my, I'm gonna divide out my page, my, let me just draw with the ruler here, lines. Let's see, this goes up. Two and a half inches. Three and a half, one, two, three, and three and three, four, two and three fours. So I'm just going to make a shadow box for mine. That doesn't look right to me. Straighten this line out just a little. It's a little better. I'm just going to eyeball it. So get your color down on the page. Decide if you're just going to wing it or if you're going to do something like a shadow box or a. I'm going to have to mend this page because it's. Well, it's not quite through yet. I'll put some tape on this for the shadow box. And we'll just, let's see, four times three. I need this divided by three. And it is eight and a fourth. Two point four five. So two point four five, almost five, almost two and a half inches. But if I leave a half inch on each side, let's see. Let's leave a half inch here. Uh, draw a line there for the for the border. And a half inch here, about a half inch. And you guys want to see the prompts? You can work on, if you're working on these prompts along with me, you can go at your own pace because I get, yep. I get a 
waylaid. Waylaid. A half inch here. And a half inch up here. I'm putting half inch borders around it. Oops. I bumped the chat with my screen. I'm going to do a shadow box. And a half inch in here. A half inch. And a half inch. So that leaves me. Let me see what my space is in here. I need to get three in here. This leaves me with seven and a fourth. If I do this. At two inches seven and a fourth do six that leaves me one and one fourth and then if I have one and a half here and a half here I still have a fourth inch left over Okay, I'm going to put two if I make that And two. Let's put two here. I have to figure what out what I want to do here. So I have three and a fourth, three and one fourth, minus two and one and one fourth left. If I do a half inch here, maybe a, a little bit wider than a half inch. It's not a half inch. Half inch is there. And That leaves me way too much. I can, let's see. Half inch.
I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to eyeball it because all this trying to be precise gets to me. <laughs> It slows me down trying to be something that I'm not. I'm just going to eyeball this. This is just a dirty dozen page. I'm just going to make me a little shadow box here. You'll see here in a minute. I'm still on the first prompt, but I want to lay it out in the shape of a Christmas shadow box. And I'm going to put the prompts in the shadow box. That is my thought. That is my thought. Okay. I am going to make this right about here, I believe, maybe a little bit wider, right about, right about there. Whoops, I bumped it. The, the boxes may not be equal size, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, she said. It is just an art journal page. Right, that's pretty good they're not these are a little bit wider over here but that's okay I'm good with that now I want to let's just do something quick and easy here sort of quick and easy let's take this and lay it down here like this and get out some paint And I'm going to do black. Let me get black out. Or we got uh, Prussian blue. Let's do Prussian blue. Good night, Sherry. You're going to go watch a movie or something. All right. Enjoy your time. This is the season to watch all those Christmas movies. I enjoy watching Christmas movies. All right, we're just going to... Oh, my brush is wet. I hate a wet brush. I don't know why I don't clean them out and take them out of the water. Too lazy. Lazy Daisy Mary. Lazy Daisy Mary. Let's throw this away. And let's shake this paint up a little bit more. It's pretty juicy. Let's 
still pretty juicy paint. All right, I'm just going to hold this here and paint a stroke down to make a, a side here. I'm just going to Maybe I'll add a little. Where's my black? My black is juicy too. What's happening to all this juicy paint? <laughs> Should have done this before I put my... Let's dry it before I lift that up. Could use painter's tape. Maybe I will on the other pieces. I got it out here, why not? Not too bad. Not too bad, got a little. I'm still on prompt one. <laughs> I'm gonna do shadow box. Let's put some painters down. Mary. I didn't say I'd be quick about these prompts. It's Friday night. Time to play. Time to do art. You know what? Yeah, that's right. That's what I want to do. It's not right, though. up on me. Twist it up on me. And it doesn't have to be perfect either. Because nothing in my life is perfect. Right? Some of these torn short. Mary, you are one of the hardest working people I know. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I don't know. I still have lots left to do. I still have lots left to do. Sweet dreams, Cheryl says. Is Mina leaving? Hi, Auntie Loopy. Kim says, I guess I'll see it when I'm done, when it's done. He's trying to upload his video for next Saturday. Next Saturday is our um, fourth Saturday art and a video hop. It's a video hop, not a live stream hop. And uh, yeah, the theme is winter, Christmas or winter. Uh, next Saturday is the day after Christmas. All right, I need to take this off here. Just tear it a little. There. And let me put this here to remind me not to paint in there. Uh, so I'll have to come back and do these vertical lines. All right. Alrighty, let's get this done, Mary. And I really need this to come up here. And they probably won't be perfect because even when I do this, I don't get perfect lines. But it's worth a it's worth a shot. I'm not looking for perfection on a pick ten. Drop more paint. I'll pull this back a little. Now, let's hit it with the heat gun.
Did I get that all? Yeah, I did. All right, let's start taking some of this off. Yeah, see, it never does it perfectly for me. Sometimes I just feel like I can draw it with a ruler just as easy. This is a lot of bother, if and you ask me. It only works for the professionals. <laughs> It's a sloppy box. Come on. And I didn't get those in there. So I am frustrated with that. Totally frustrated with it. Let's just do it by hand. Whoops, that's not where I wanted to go. I'll have to paint that out. Let's just do it by hand. That's kind of where I want to go with this. Not too much, though. Let me dry this. I'm not happy, she said. I'm not happy with this. Let me grab a page here. I'm still working on the background. <laughs> I'm using the Pic 10, the prompts as my inspiration, but I'm gonna build a chattel box, but I don't, I don't like that. I still have blue in the background. I don't like where it's going here. So I'm going to change it out. I'm going to change it out. If you don't like something, you can always change it.
I like that better. Let's get this out of my way. This will give me an opportunity to put some wax paper over my glue pot, like Rhonda said. Let me go that down to the bottom and chat. I get all wrapped up in doing this, you guys, so I'm not chatting much. Rhonda said, Cheryl, no, she's not giving up. Life is just hard for her at this time, as you probably know. Oh, we're talking about Barbara Owen. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put the glue on this. Yeah, my mother had dementia. Uh, I don't know if that's what... I'm not following that... I know that she's taking care of her husband at this time, but I don't know all of his issues going on, but I know it's hard for her. She took care of both of her parents. I know it's not easy. And sometimes you have to, you have to come to the point to say, I need help, I can't do it all by myself. Um, and I hope she realizes at that point when she gets there. Um, it is, I was working, tw uh, I was working a full-time job, and I could not care for my mother 24 hours a day and work a full-time job. That just was not going to happen. It was too much for me, and we eventually had to put her in a home. I'm sorry I had to do that, but nobody was paying my rent for me. <laughs> it it all depends on your individual situations, what you you know, it's all it's something we you have to make the decision you have to make if you're faced with that challenge. Kathy here? Which Kathy is here? You're saying hi, Kathy. I missed Barb. Was she in here? Is she out there yet? Is she lurking? Janet. Oh, there's Janet, too. Hi, Janet. She said, I'm very glad Barb came in. She needs to know that we are all praying for her. Yes, we are. All right, I'm going to put this down. I did not like what was happening on my page, so I'm changing it. Because this is, after all, this is my December daily, and I want it to turn out halfway decent. Let me get another piece of wax paper here. Now, I still want the shadow box. So... The thing is, is how am I going to put, I need these lines. And I did not do very good with the paint. So I think I'll get my marker out. Let's see, I think a marker would probably be better on this. Let's see what I can do with this. Let's do the horizontal ones first. Oh, hold it. Let's. 
Let's take care of the yesterday. Let's do. Rhonda says, Mary, <laughs> you wouldn't have this trouble if you put a piece of wax paper. And Jude says that to me too. And I did that on my other glue pot. There we go. Wax paper on it. <laughs> All right. Let's. I've got too many things out of here. Too many things out on my desk frustrate me. Let's draw some lines here. I think my marker might be the cleanest way for me to do this. I missed Barb coming in, and I, I don't know which Kathy came in. Mary, Barb Owen is here, but now is leaving. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have my timer out, so I'm just kind of, I haven't even gone past my first prompt yet, but I am wrapped up in doing this. I am wrapped up in doing this. I like this a lot better than what I had before it was messy. Before it was messy. I didn't like it. Ah. I like that better. And let's see. Let's do it right about here. About there. And let's make this a little bit wider. Yeah. And right about there, maybe. That middle one is, you know, there's nothing saying that they have to be equal boxes. My middle ones are bigger, which is okay with me. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm done fiddling with the background. So the second prompt is baking. And we said gingerbread men. And you know what I have? I have these Christmas beads. I could put these gingerbread men in here. And I think I will. I think I'm going to leave them on, the, on this. And just cut it. I might end up changing my mind but we'll see let's cut it here and here and let's just put them right down in there let's just put them in there And I'm going to put it in with my glossy accent because I don't trust the double-sided tape. 
I might put a little double-sided tape in the center of this. I could put them down here at the bottom. I think I like them right there. Yeah, we'll put some tape right here in the center. And then I'm going to put glossy accent on it because I think the glossy accent will hold it better. Yeah. Let me get the tape off of this. Oh, that's holding them. That's holding them in there. Maybe I better put some tape over that. So this will be my baking prompt, the gingerbread men. I just happen to have these sitting right out here on my desk. They, I got them in some, some happy mail or at the auction or something or other. And I think either yesterday or today was Keisha's birthday. I think it was yesterday. Keisha had a birthday. Keisha, Keisha's creations. don't know if she's going to do it. Janet would know if she's going to do any auctions before Christmas. My auction money has kind of run dry for this month. This month is kind of, uh, I got a package coming from Keisha from last month. But this month my auction money has kind of run dry. Um. I have some bills I got to get paid yet this week. I was too tired to go to the bank today. I'll have to do it next week. I'm just going to put glossy accent along in here and along down in here. And if some of it pops out, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with this being bulky in my journal because I think my journal will, um, I think this, the spine will expand for me. Let me go down to the bottom of chat here. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, Violet. I'm going to have to hold on to this for a bit. Maybe I could put some painter's tape on that to hold it down while it's drying. Welcome to everybody who's come in. Hi, Sharon Lombard. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to put a little painter's tape on this to kind of hold it down while it's drying because I've got plenty of X plus the accent on there it just needs to dry. Okay, the next prompt is decorating. And when I think of decorating, I think of the Christmas tree and I think of bulbs. You know what? I feel like putting a bulb. Let's draw. Or we could even punch out a circle, a two-inch circle here. Um, let me get my punch out. Let's punch a bulb out of... Let me look. I'm holding the towels in my lap. Let me see what I want to punch. What can I punch a bulb out of? Maybe one of those Christmas cards. I have a couple of them out here. 
let's punch a bulb out. Uh, oh, look, there's a bulb right there. It's smaller over here. But I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> what else do I have? I got the bird. And that's just the border. I could just put the tree. I think I'll just, I'll save the bulb for something else. I think I'm going to cut this tree out for decor for the decorating prompt. We're going to do the tree. We're just going to do a fussy cut of it. I think I'll do this. Well, this tree is prettier, though, because it's got... It might take up a couple squares on this tree. This has got gold sparkle emboss on it. I'm going to cut this tree. I'm going to fussy cut this tree out. We're just gonna we're just gonna fussy it just gonna raggedy the branches here it doesn't have to be perfect nothing Mary does is perfect and she's okay with that I might have put that yes paste away too fast because I'm thinking I'm going to put this down with yes paste. So this is the third prompt. The first prompt is color background. And I started with a light blue and then I decided I wanted a shadow box. And I didn't like how my shadow box was turning out. So I, I got a piece of this drop paper that I did writing on. And... Uh, Put that down and then I used my marker. Sorry, I was concentrating on my fussy cut in here. This is more rough cutting than fussy cutting. I'm going to cut it across there. So we're going to do the tree as the decorating prompt. I see there are some presents under this tree. Like there's a sock there too. I don't know. I think I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to put it, I think I'll put it over on this side, right down in there. It's going to take up two, and yeah, I think I'll put it right there. Might have to move this tape a little. I'm going to put it right in there. I could. This could very easily be cut down a little. I don't know. I could just set it right in front of the shadow, but I think I like it right there. I think I'm going to just kind of hold that there for a minute until I get this box done. Thank you, Violet. Kathy Whitney. Hi, Kathy. Were you the Kathy that they said hello to that I missed earlier? Welcome, Kathy Whitney. Allie Kay says, I usually only watch YouTube on my small iPad or iPhone. Watching on my new 14-inch computer tonight. 
Oh, he likes seeing Harry big. <laughs> yeah, I only watch on my iPad and mobile phone. Uh, I imagine seeing it big is, is, is a lot different. You see my dirty fingers. Violet said, I always watch on my computer, Allie K. Mary is, Mary Big is always in <laughs> big old Mary. All right, I'm going to go to the next prompt, which is stars. I feel like the stars should be up here. And of course, I know that I could stencil them. I know that I could... Draw them on there, paint them on there. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to cut them out. And, uh, hmm. I want yellow paper. Where can I find yellow paper, she said. Let me look. What can I make my star? Oh, I could make my stars out of this scratchy aluminum foil. Let's put some aluminum foil stars on here. Yep, let's do that. And I'm just going to cut them, rough cut them here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see, but I don't want them too big. So let's cut this way and this way. Um, it needs a leg, a leg. I always think of the stars as having two legs and two arms and a head. And this aluminum foil is cheap foil. This is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree foil, so it's not the big thick kind. It's pretty thin stuff. Let's put a star. Put them up there. I might have to draw some lines around them to make them stand out. Let's put them up in this box. You know, I had stars out. I don't know what I did with all those little stars. Mary's looking over here. See, that's the thing. I have this stuff out and then I put it away in a box. And then I never see it again. So I'm just going to go with my original spot here. Let's put them in this box instead. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Go away. You know, in order for those to show up, they really need to be... Mary's rethinking her, th her approach here. Let's take a little of this. I'm going to put it on here. Oh. Wrong stuff. Hold the phone. I got three hands going here. Where's my darker blue? I had it out, uh, put it back in the, did I turn the,
Hold the phone. There he's working on it. And then I'm going to take this, one of these stars. Come on. What happened to my other wax paper here? Put some yes paste on this. Oh. There we go. There's one star down. The other one I'm going to put down in here. Take this and pull it up a little. This is cheap foil, so it tears real easy. Got to be careful doing this. There we go. There's the stars. So I'm trying to put a prompt in every in each box. And I might come back with some some words later. Um, like I don't know, cookies and stars, tree decorating. Alright, hold the phone. Let me I might need this yes paste again, but I need to put the lid on it. Hi, Dana. Welcome, Dana. You haven't seen any ads except when I entered the stream. I've heard some people say live streams have lots of ads when you watch in the internet browser. I didn't know that. Um, are they watching the replay? Usually the ads show up in the replay in the midstream. Um, usually I don't see ads like when I'm watching... Like Lisa and Tanya and Dee Dee. I don't see ads in there on my mobile phone. Kathy says, at my house, you better have a star on your paper. <laughs> All right. I'm ready for the first prompt, which is glitter. Now, I have glitter. But glitter, I have glitter glue, but it takes so long for that glitter glue to dry that I'm going to skip the glitter. I'm going to do a, to do, um, a wild card. What shall I do? Hmm. Let's come back to that. Let's do the lace. I should have lace out here someplace because I've been playing with it. I'll probably put it back on the rack. What do I have for lace? I'm looking. I'm going to have to get up and go over to the shelf though because I put it back. I actually put something away. Let me grab this pile of bucket of lace here. And of course, to get to what I want is three, three or four buckets down. Okay, I'm, I'm here. Hold on. Let's see. I threw it all in ribbon in this bag. And there's some lace in here. There's some lace there. There's some lace here. This is all ribbons, I think. Alright. Let's go with what I have. Lace. This is roughly, I think. 
If I use it, I have to cut the ruffle off. Oops. This is flat, and this is flat. But I could put lace underneath of the underneath of the maybe the top one up here. I don't know if I like that. I'm working on a Christmas shadow box. Did Ann come in? Hi, Ann. Yeah, Ann is right. The ads are what pays us. Unless you have pre Premiere. If you have YouTube Premiere, we still get paid for your views. And you don't have to watch the ads, but it's a monthly subscription rate. If the ads bother you, you can get YouTube uh well, I call it Premiere. I, I it could be Prime. I I can't uh, can't remember the name for it. But you can get a ad free YouTube. These just aren't doing it for me. Let's go to this one. <laughs> I have to get them all out. And just Look at them. I think I can take this washi ta this painter's tape off. It's bothering me. So in one square, I have gingerbread man, and another square I have stars. In this, these two squares, I'm going to have this Christmas tree. So we've done the background. The decorating is the Christmas tree. The baking is the gingerbread men. The color is the background. And these are the stars. Now we're going, we're on the sixth prompt. We skipped, we skipped prompt uh, five. We're going to come back to five, which is glitter. I'm looking for something that I want to use on here. That's taped down. I didn't take that staple out. I think I like this better because it's thinner, but yet it shows up. And I can put it across here and still get my tree over that. So let me see what I want to do here. I'm about out of washi tape, out of uh, tape. I'm going to have to open a new package of tape. We're going to put some lace underneath the shelves. I hope I have enough. And I hope it holds it. do it on everyone? I don't know. Yep, 
Yes, I think I do. We're doing the lace prompt. Oops, I'm running out of tape. Ran out. Let's see. Let me get some more out here. I don't want to use that. Let me reach for it. I've got some tape right here. I'm going to have to do a trip at the... I drove past the... I drove past the Dollar Tree today. Drove right past the Dollar Tree. I drove past the bank. I need a new charger phone for my cord. For my... Oh, let's just rip it. I just drove past everything on the way home tonight. Yesterday, or this afternoon. Getting into these packages sometimes is a challenge for me. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Violet. Yeah. Very soon I'm going to have to make the January journal. It's getting about that time. I'm still thinking what I want to do for January. I might just do a, a journal and journal in it as I go. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'll cut a piece. Was this what I was using? I don't think it matters too much. They're very similar. Keep reminding me, Cheryl. <laughs> All right, we're doing the prompt lace. And I'm hoping that this is going to stick. I might come back with some little dabs of glossy accent. Because I can pull that up way too easy. Way too easy. And of course, I didn't put the needle back in my glossy accent. I'm on prompt six, which is lace, and I'm making a lace, putting lace underneath the little, as any person who, like Shabby Chic, would do on their shadow box. I like that. Let's do the last one. Okay. 
No, it's not coming up. Beth is here. Beth is in the house. Beth Schuler's in the house. I missed Barb Owen. I missed Barb. I wish her the best. But I do hope that she takes birth. That's important when you're caring for people. She knows that. She knows that. Mary doesn't have to tell her anything. You need you need your me time when you're taking care of people. Gosh, I'm putting eye drops in my brother's eyes. It's morning, noon, and night now. But even that... Uh, and he was he was doing it every two hours when we got home, and even that can can tire you out. Like it's time to put drops in your eyes again. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this Christmas tree down now. And uh, you know I don't care if it if it's not glued down. If it, I'm just gonna put dots of glue on it. Oh look, it's a Christmas tree on a Christmas tree. Aw, oh, too bad. I'm just going to dot glue in here. Um, I don't have to have every little branch glued down. I just need to have it so it doesn't pop off my page. There. Okay, so the Christmas tree is for the decorating. The gingerbread man is for the baking. The, these are stars and lace. Now, fiber and fabric. So, fiber. Fiber, fiber. And fabric. I have, you know, I could do some clusters. I could do some cluster. They have fiber and fabric on them. Let's do a couple clusters. Let's put my snow globe cluster on here. Uh, let's see if I got a smaller one. Let's see. Oh, and I got these deer. I got some things that you guys have sent. And here's some. Let me reach over here into my pile of. I'm going to have to put all these laces back. I'm done with the lace. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm about used all this one. This one just got stuffed in. Let's put the, this in here. And this one's about used. Put it in there. I let this stuff pile up on my desk too much. And there's my tape. Here's more lace. All right. Let me put that behind me. I was getting out no globes. Let's see what I have here. I got my snow globe clusters. This is a fabric. That's a horse. This was sent to me. It's too big. That one's too big. What else do I have? I'm looking. This came off of a bag. It's a fireplace. One. Some of these aren't. I'm, de I'm deciding what I want to do here. Well, got some t tin foil tiles. I think I'm just going to go with one of these. I think I'd like this, the first one I picked out. 
I'm deciding where I want to put it. Maybe not. I don't want to cover up my tree. Look, this isn't sticking. This really needs to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to see if I can't tear it here. Tear it there and keep that string in fabric, but tear this a little if I can't. That foil is hard to tear. Get it, give it a start. There. Maybe I could slant it. Shall I staple it in? Let's lay it, lay it right there for now. All right, I'm going to do that for the fabric and fiber because this is a fabric on here, and the fiber is the threads, and I got a little snow globe there. I'm going to put that right in here, I believe. It can go across, too. I'm okay with it. Well, I don't want it to cover up my star on my Christmas tree, though. Put it up here. This one is not sticking down for me for some reason. Put some more glue on there. Big dab of it. All right, I'm just going to set that there. Ribbon. I had ribbon out. I had ribbon. I have this satin ribbon green and pink, and white, and blue. I like the blue. Let's do a piece of blue ribbon. And we might put that as a background on something. The next one is gold and border. Well, the border, the border's done because the border will be the shadow box itself. So that's done. Fiber and fabric, lace, stars, color, baking, decorating. So I've got ribbon and gold and a wild card. And I've got more than one box. And Mary's thinking. I might go back to this is almost too big for me. Let's see what else I have for cards. For my wild card, I might do something off of my cards that I that I'm playing with here. I've got stickers. And more stickers. I've got address labels. I'm looking into my stash here.
Well, you don't want to see behind me. It's a tornado behind me. Okay, I like enjoy the holiday season. But how could I get that all on there? Up here and underneath. Just right in there. It's too much. The magic of Christmas never ends. Its greatest gifts are family and friends. Merry Christmas. In the joy and wonder of Christmas time. Ooh, I like that. We're going to put some words on here. This will be my... Words will be my wild card. A verse or words. We need some words on here. In the joy and wonder of Christmas... Put that someplace on here. Right down there. No, right there. And then I've got this little kids in the window. And I have Christmas seals. I don't know if they're going to stick on here. Sharing Christ's love in service in Appalachia. These were give, gifted to me by my uh, sister-in-law. Let's put a... Let's put a star up here. There. And let's see. How do I want to do this? I don't know. I don't know. Christmas 2019 <laughs> that I could take off 2000. There's a bird. I didn't do the bird sticker. Let's put him right. Let's put him up in here. Well, he's down there. He's not coming up again. Let's see if I can put that back down there. It'll come up again. It's kind of fun to do this. It is kind of fun to do this. Um... You just never know what you're going to do next. I'm going to cut this one off a little and just use the the, the it's a town piece. Come on. I have happy mail to open. I got all wrapped up in doing this. Guess what? It's not going to fit got my tree there that's not going to work maybe it's good that this isn't sticking right away because I want to put this someplace on here Let's put it there. I'm covering up all my my background. That word Christmas is getting covered up. Oh well, I like it. Now let's put these back down. There. Okay. I like that. This needs to stand out a little more. Where's my marker? And 
Merry Christmas. Rejoice. Merry Christmas. I'm wondering if these are going to, how long they're going to stay on here. I have to get them off of my paper. There it comes. Where I want to put it. I'm putting that snow globe up here. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. That's what these pages are all about. Play. Let's put this down. And I've covered up most of my writing in the background. It's still there, but... Let's just put this offset it across the shadow box. And let's put this down. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm going to open up some Happy Mail. i got a bunch of Happy Mail to open. Now this probably needs to be tacked down since I'm putting it in my journal. Tack that down there. And there. And there. I think I'm done. I didn't put anything down here. Maybe I'll put another little bird seal down. They've got this one, this one right here. If I can get it off. My uh, sister-in-law would donate a lot. And they she'd donate a lot. And she'd get a lot. She'd get a lot of little gifty things like seals and address labels and all right i think let me review the prompts this one's too big i think i'm done because i did words instead of i did the wild card and i did words and i put did i put ribbon on there I got it out. I didn't do anything with it. Oh, dear. I got my ribbon to do. And gold. I didn't put gold. Well, I guess I'm not done. Let's take a little piece of this ribbon. We're just going to snip a piece off here. And I'm going to take this seal off. This is why stuff doesn't stick. I put it down and then I lift it up again. I could use one of my wax pieces. Let's put this bird on the ribbon. Oops. Let's put a dab of glue right there. Put it right here. Put a dab of glue there. Just so I have some ribbon for my prompt. Now I need gold. I need gold. And I have Becky's. Becky gifted me these gold signal pins and I really do like them and well, I think I'm just going to put some gold dots around the edge here for the border I do like these they you know they that ink flowed uh, now the white signal pens, I have to say, I don't really care for the white signal pens. I I like them, but 
I like my fine liner better, but I do like these gold signal pens because they write every time I use them, they write. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to call that done. Now, let me review my prompts again. Put this back in my bucket. All right. I've got the... The background was blue, and I had blue on there, but my my writing had a blue background, too. So, I'm it was color. So, I got color on there. <laughs> Uh, the second prompt was baking, and I put this little gingerbread man. The third prompt was decorating, and I put this Christmas tree. The fourth prompt was stars. I did some silver stars up here. The fifth prompt was I, I chose a wild card, and I did words here. Uh, the sixth prompt was lace, and I put lace under the, the shelves of the shadow box. The seventh prompt was fabric and fiber, and I used one of my clusters, and this is fabric, and my fiber are some red crochet threads. Ribbon is underneath my little bird stamp there, so I got that. Gold, I put gold dots on, the, on this, and the border is my border of my shadow box. So I'm gonna call this game done. I'm calling it done. How fun that was. I might use this as my thumbnail. Let's pull this out. I don't know if I lost you guys in doing all of this. Hi, Scrappy Girl Dana. Did I say hello to you? You prefer the Jelly Roll pen? Well, you know, it's it's what you guys are, what you guys like to use. You Here's my, no, that's a bracelet. I thought those were my stars I was looking for. Um, I like the fine liner because the paint is always vivid white for me. Sometimes, not just only the jelly roll pens. I've noticed too, when I use paint, not paint pens, but when I use white ink, it soaks into my background and when I use my fine liner it's acrylic paint so it doesn't soak into my background I'm getting the scraps off my desk here I can't deal with a lot of scraps on my desk scraps that I'll, I'll throw away could be cluster here and these are some little baggies I'm gonna put them over there okay I'll save that for a cluster. Let's let's look at some happy mail. Because I've got happy mail. My goodness, did I get happy mail. Let me just leave this like this for a minute and I'll look at I'll look at chat. Let's get this out. What is this? Thank you, Jude. Thank you, Renee. Happy meal, happy meal, happy meal. We want to see the happy meal, Violet says. <laughs> That's that it's very festive. It really makes a nice page in my journal, doesn't it? And this would be day, this is day 17, 16, 15, 14. See, some of these I just have background pages on. I don't have anything on them. 13. This is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This would be day 19. And today's the 17th, so I'm a day ahead of myself here. But I have to go back and do these pages. All right, let me look at chat. Allie Kay says, I'm still here. You didn't lose me. Thank you, Anne. Beth, I think you mean artistic license, Rhonda says. Love it, Violet. Make sure I bring a guard. Um, I make sure I bring a bodyguard. <laughs> what did Beth say? Mary is trying to cheat in her own game. <laughs> yeah, Beth. 
You caught me cheating in my own game. <laughs> you caught me. And, and who said, Beth, that's artistic license, you mean? Let me put this pen in my glossy accent so that it's not all clogged up. There we go. I'll put it away. If I can find a space for it on my shelf. There we go. All right. What else is going on out there? There, There's Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. Rhonda. Mitzi came in. Violet's here. Thank you guys for taking care of all the trolls for me. Anne says, let's hear it for our wee brains. <laughs> Violet says, don't ask me to count. Whacking and counting at the same time would hurt my wee brain. No one's keeping score, at least, because I'm not ahead of you. Just kidding. Are you guys keeping score of how many trolls you whack in Mary's stream? I don't know. It feels like they're out after me, but uh, they, they say that it's happening all over the place. So, all right. Let's do the happy mail. Where'd I put my cards? <laughs> Let's do the Happy Mail. I have to get them out. I've got cards galore here. I think they all came from Beth Schuler's. Here they are. I've got a bunch of cards. And let's just switch over. Can I? Maybe I better switch back. We'll just switch back one. We'll use this as background. And this isn't Happy Meal. This came from St. Jude's Hospital. But we'll open it and see what I can use on my <laughs> in my in my journal. St. Jude, please respond by December January 15th. Let's see what they gave me here. They always put something in there. Here's the donate. Oh, they gave me a, oh, a little tablet. Oh, see, isn't that cute? I could write notes on here. And here's the donation thing. All right, well, we'll put that over on the. All right, so that eliminated one envelope. This one is from Cheryl. Cheryl, are you out there yet? She was here earlier. This card, this this comes from Cheryl. I'm sure this is part of the swap in Beth's. Beth's had a card swap. Let's see what Cheryl sent me here. You guys make Christmas good for me. That's all I can say. Well, I guess I'm going to have to snip around the corner. Man, she had to squeeze that in there. To Mary and family. To Mary and family. So I guess that's to my brother too. And you open it up and it says to Mary and family. Have a Merry Christmas and a happy and better New Year. Your friend, little sister Cheryl. Aw, isn't that cute? And she sent, oh, she sent me the Jingle Bell, Bell Cluster. Aw. This goes in my journal. This goes in my journal. Maybe I'll put it in right here. Let's do it right now. Um, I can't decide if I... 
I think I'll put it in with tape first. And then if I do something, whatever I put on this page, you know, this card would look nice right here. But I'm not so sure about the cluster looking good there. But this card fits right on this page with the lines. So let's put the card down. And I'll fill up my art journal, my December daily with Christmas cards from y'all <laughs> and clusters. Yeah, it really goes with that plaid. This is a, a napkin background. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Cheryl was in here earlier, but she gets tired. Was Cheryl the one who's watching on her computer? Who said that they were no longer looking on their phone? They're watching on their... Who said that? I read it, but I forgot. There she is. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you so much. You sent me that Jingle Bell cluster. That was so kind of you. I didn't expect you to send it to me. I saw it. All right, let's put it, let's see if I can match up some of these plaids. They are, are not all going to match, but let's put it right there. And I'm going to put the cluster over here because I don't, I could put it down there, but I think it goes right here. And I'm just going to put it in with some tape first. So if I need to move it, I can, because this is felt. And if I like it there, I'll come in and staple it, Cheryl. Because <laughs> I've been using the tiny attacher. I still have some Christmas cards I need to get out in the mail. And I'm this will just kind of tack it down right now. There we go. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Let's get the pieces off my desk. All right. The next card is from Danny Coleman. Oh, Danny, thank you. I feel guilty that I didn't get Christmas cards. Oh, they're gnomes. I it looks like, no, they're Christmas trees. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. <gasps> Oh, wow. Danny, you do such beautiful art. Merry Christmas, Mary. Wishing you warm and wonderful blessings of Christmas. I hope to see more of you in 2022. Our move should be done in April. Sounds like Danny is moving. I wonder where she's moving. Does anybody know where Danny is moving to? Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... Ooh, this might look pretty over here. I don't want to put all cards in my... I think I'm going to make a... Because I've got a bunch of cards that need to be put in. And I think I'm going to make a pocket for some of these. All right. The next card is from Kathy Whitney. Kathy was here. Oh, look. She did seals. Oh, can I save them? Yes, I can. Yay. Yay. And Kathy sent a card, and it's, what a wonderful time of the year. Believe in the magic. Oh, isn't that cool? Believe in the magic. Isn't that beautiful? And then that, that card is black and gold. That bulb is black and gold. Oh, that's beautiful, Kathy. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. And the last card is from Judy Patton. Judy Patton. Was she in our swap bath? I don't remember if Judy... No, I don't think she was. Esther was in the swap. but uh, And it's got a piece of... Oh, and it's a snowman. They're putting snowman decorating a tree. 
with a little snowball right up at the top. Aw. Jesus is the reason for the season. May we remember him at the Christmas season and throughout the coming year. Merry Christmas, Judy Patton. Aw, look at these beautiful cards. Oh, these are so cool. Very, very cool. Let's put this like this. For right now, I'm going to bobby pin these cards in. I'm not sure that I want to put cards on all my pages. I'm thinking I want to do some different things on my pages. But they help fill up my journal. They help fill up my journal, that's for sure. This is a quick way to get them added. Especially when you don't know where you're going next. And I've got some more. I don't know. I, I must have saved them out. This one came from Ann Lar. This one came from uh, Nettie. This one is from Margaret Long Younger. Young Younger. She gets. She was in Beth Schuler Swap. This one. This one is from Sherry Van. Sherry was here earlier. This one was from Barb Batzer. And I didn't want to cover my windmill page up. And these are some socks. These I put in tonight. I thought I had some more cards. Maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe I got them all in here. No, because I got one from Becky. I got some more cards to put in. Looks like I'm going to have to loosen this journal, the cover up here pretty soon. It'll expand out a little bit more. All right, let's, I got some more Happy Mail to open. Let's get this off my desk. I have a couple boxes to open. This one, let me take the, let me take the uh, address tag off. This one came from Norma, our Norma. Norma is taking a break from online, but she still, she still remembers me. Um, I've texted with her a couple times. You're seeing my lap there. Um, but she always sends me stuff. Now let me take her address label off. She put that in now. I think I can get it out with my knife. Let me take this off. Um, we miss Norma a lot. She is missed. I hope she realizes how much she's missed out here. N Norma, Branson Norma. Maybe if, maybe she'll come back sometime, but she's kind of taking a break from, from, uh, the online stuff. Let's see what she sent me. She always sends me something at Christmas. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. There we go. Oh, look. She sent me a peace decoration. I'll put that out on my tree. And look. Look what she did here. Oh. A card. We'll put that put that in with the rest of them. Let me open up the card. I can get in this. Get the gingerbread man off without tearing him.
There he comes. He says, I'm a cookie. I'm used to crumbling. There he goes. Oh, what a beautiful card. Isn't that beautiful? Merry Christmas. And... Dearest Mary, I thank you for, I thank God for you and your sharing yourself and your talent with us fibs again. Oh, uh oh, you guys ignore, ignore all this. I should have opened it. I should not have opened this online. She says, please don't mention my name on your live streams. I goofed Norma. I, I goofed. She asked me not to mention her name on the live streams, but uh, oops, I opened her package. Well, let's go ahead and I'll have to apologize to her. Um, let me put this address label off. She puts an address label on the inside. Get that off of there. Norma, I'm so sorry I'm mentioning your name because... I didn't see your name until until I opened. I didn't see your message till I opened the package. Shortbread, a candy cane, goodies, chocolate, candy cane, chocolate. Try get goodies from Norma. Some kisses. I'll have to open that up. Ooh, some fuzzy socks. Some pink comfy socks and hope. Isn't that cool? And candy. She sent me lots of candy. You guys are fattening me up. And oh, Norma, Norma, Norma. I am. I'm really blowing it. She she said, don't mention my name, and I've said it 20 times here. I hope she'll forgive me at Christmas. Norma makes these. And you might check. She has an Etsy shop, and but I don't know if she's still running it, but it's Norma Jean Handmade Art on Etsy. And she makes these beautiful. What I'm trying to open is this bracelet. She makes these. This looks more like a necklace than a bracelet. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, Norma, Norma. And then a couple of bracelets here. I'm going to have to apologize to her for for, for mentioning her name 800 times. Oh, an angel. Oh, it's beautiful, Norma. I'll keep her out. She's holding a ribbon with a with a snowflake on it. Oh. And more candy. These are those Ferrero Rocher. And more candy. Ghirardelli. 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 Oh. She's fattening me up. So there goes those. I'm going to put all the candy back in the box. And I'll put the box out. I'll take all this out in the other room. And let's see what this is. Uh, I just don't don't uh, bug Norma. Uh, I don't know if you guys can even get in contact with her because she's gone. She's gone. She's taking a break from online. And so she kind Oh, look. Isn't that beautiful? 
This can hold your tea bags. I very seldom take my tea bags out of my tea, but I think that's meant to hold your tea bags or a spoon rest or uh, I've seen people put paint brushes in. I'm not going to put paint brush in there. Your watercolor brushes, you may be able to, but I think it's meant to hold your, your tea bags. Somebody got after me for leaving my tea bag in my tea. I still do it. I still do it. Norman may change my habit with that little holder, though. It's really cute. Thank you, Norma, for all your thoughtful gifts. Look at this necklace she's, she made. Isn't that beautiful? And these bracelets. Isn't that beautiful? I hope she forgives me for, for goofing up. Just beautiful things, Norma. Thank you so much. I'm going to save this for my journal. And this is going to go, I'll put this out on my, by my, by my Charlie Brown tree. And this will go on the Charlie Brown tree. This I think I'll keep in here. I'll wear these and I'm going to eat the candy. The necklace, the necklace, I don't wear much jewelry because I end up breaking it. But you know, Becky sent me these, and I still have them, these, these beads. Becky made this, this beaded, she calls them love beads from the 60s. I'm going to put this on here with my, with Becky's beaded. And then I, I look at it every time I get my hand sanitizer, I see these things. Let's see. Let's thread this heart through here, and it kind of holds it. Like that. Just something like that. And I'll have a, a decorated hand sanitizer. So thank you so much for everything, Norma. I feel bad that I mentioned her name 800 times. I can't quit saying her name. Now I have another box to open. You guys, I just kept getting mail this week. I kept getting mail. Every time my brother went to the post office, he'd come home with another bo another piece of mail. And he said, you got another one. <laughs> Let me get the, I'm going to tear off the address one before I lift it up. Okay, this is a big box. Oh, and it's heavy. <laughs> oh. Look at this. Absorbent pads. <laughs> oh. But it came through the mail really good. Sometimes this, these things don't come through the mail good. But I can't imagine how much she spent for postage on this. This came from Annie V. Annie V is always so sweet to me. And Norma is too. And I keep saying Norma. Norma, 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 Norma. <laughs> If I blow it, I might as well blow it good, huh? This came from Annie V. Annie V found me in Dee Dee Will from Dee Dee Willingham. And she watches. I'm going to have to send her a thank you. And tell her I opened her box tonight. This just just blows me away with the stuff that she sends. So here's a card. We'll open the card. Yeah, the cost. The cost is outrageous. Oh, look at this card. This is velvet. Oh, this is a beautiful card of the 
the uh, manger scene, the nativity. Merry Christmas, Mary, and a Happy New Year to you and your brother with love, Annie V. Oh, Annie, thank you so much. You could have just sent me the card and I would have been happy. <laughs> I'll put that over here to go in my journal. And she sent me a whole stack of craft paper. Oh, cardboards. Oh, Annie V. I was just saying that I didn't have any... Uh, I said no, I had to get me a board book. She sent me a whole stack of, of uh, this is like cardboard, uh, a thin cardboard. Oh, isn't this cool? Oh, thank you, Annie V. And then behind that is some craft paper, kind of, crafty paper. Um, and it's already got the edging on it. Oh, a mini iron. Look at this. She sent me a little mini iron. Oh, Annie, 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 Annie. Thank you so much. Oh, and they were telling me that I needed another little, uh, a little coffee warmer to keep. Who was telling me that when I was doing those wax seals? They said, Mary, you need a coffee warmer to keep those seals that wax of so spoon wax. I'll have to try that. She sent me one here. So I don't have to go buy one. And some, some, uh, look at these. Oh, wow. These are the back of, this is ephemera, but I think it's supposed to be the back of, uh, Photographs. Oh, wow. These are cool. Oh, thank you, Annie V. Studio SJ Shear. Hi, Samantha Owens. Welcome, Samantha. It's good to see you. I'm standing up so I can see you through my mobile phone device up above. I don't normally watch chat that way. Here's a... Here's a... A lettering aid you put your you can put your uh, well helps you line up uh, I I see it for stamping but you can all it says hand a large lettering aid use printed line for equal spacing cool and it's got three punches in it so you can put it in a notebook and I, I want to start something like that. Oh, and she sent me some, oh, some sorry fabric. Oh, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, and let's, let's, uh, Rosemary Morris in January is doing a Mexican caboodle. And I fell in love with it the minute, and she's doing a doll. She's doing a Mexican doll and a Mexican caboodle. Fell in love with them. I haven't been out to her chat, but I saw her her promotion video for the for the January caboodle. Yeah, I got it. Rosemary's here. Is Rosemary in here? I, I, could, I, I can't pronounce that, Janice. Hi, Janice. Hi, Rosemary out there. I'm standing up. I'm looking in my... Is she here? Did Rosemary come in? Did Rosemary come in here? I don't see her. She must be out there someplace. I don't see you. Janice is here. There she is. She says, hola. Pronounce this for me. Uh, sound it out for me, Rosemary. This, that, that, O-A-X, Oxicana, Oxica, O A. O A X A C A. I love Rosemary's caboodles. I I uh, I have to tell you, Rosemary, my December spending, I had to. I bought some things from Keisha, from her auction, toward the end of November, the first of December, and that's all I spent online. <laughs> 
So, but I, but, so I didn't get your December stuff, but I'm back at it. Your January caboodle. I've fallen in love with your January caboodle. They're saying hello. Oaxaca? Oaxaca is pronunciation? Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Wow. Thank you, Janice. Aw, hi, Rosemary. I love it, and I love what you did with the doll. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get started. I'm so far behind on Rosemary's stuff, but I just, I, Oaxaca. Janice says correct. <laughs> and look at the, I, this reminded me of Rosemary. But look at this, what she sent to me. Annie V. Just. Oh, look at this gold. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Woohoo! Annie V, I know um, she watches my streams, and I'll have to tell her what time I opened her box at. I'll, I'll go thank her. She just piles it on when she sends. Look, she sent me some wax. Oh, Annie V. Oh, my heart. <laughs> oh, Annie. She sent me a little melting spoon, some little candles, and look at these wax, wax melts that she sent me. I can make more, more wax clusters. <laughs> oh, you guys, after I did my stream the other day, you know, YouTube, they're so smart. They find out what you're what you're doing and then they go promote videos and I watched this one video that just it, it just blew me away because they used I'm sorry this box is hitting my camera. It's wiggling. Um Aw, oh, thank you, Jude. I I don't deserve it. I don't deserve you guys, but I'm very, very grateful for what you guys how you how you support me it just i'm gonna cry because you know i'm probably the i, I know <laughs> saying i don't deserve it is really the truth but it sounds kind of i don't know some people don't like to hear me say i don't deserve it but i don't deserve you guys you are so good to me and you've been so good to me over the years I'm truly grateful, truly, truly grateful. Oh, some gelatos. Look at this. Just <laughs> gelatos. It just doesn't end. Beautiful. Thank you, Annie. Some more wax beads. Oh, Annie, 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 Annie. Thank you so much. This is just a punch out. Looks like it's a punch out of, of the middle of a binder. Maybe. Oh, she sent me some Uniball roller pins. Oh, wow. And these are nice ones. I have to journal with those. I'm keeping those out. Oh. And what? what is this? We'll open this last. This was a magnifier. It looks like it came out of the... It was an embroidery magnifier. You put this around your head. And it looks like it came out of the frame. Did not make it through the mail. But it did not break either. See and look it has a it has a round one there. I think I can glue this back in. I don't want to fool with it now because I'll probably break it if I try to. But you put this around your forehead and uh this goes on your forehead and this goes on your eyes and then you can stitch you can see to stitch i'm going to save that out 
I think that can be repaired. Some little, look, a little locket, a little, isn't that cute? And it locks. Oh, wow. Look at that. And it's got a little clasp there, and you can open it up. I'm going to keep that out. Ah, glitter. <laughs> glitter, I needed this an hour ago, or two hours ago. White glitter. Les Fruits du Vigeur. Uh, I think these are some fruity candies. Fattening me up. I'll have to mow the lawn ten extra times this spring. And this is a gift box here. Let's open it up. Made this especially for you. I'm going to keep the bow. Let's take it off this way. Oh, Annie V. Annie V. Gold ribbon. Made this especially for you. It contains a prayer. Oh, may you have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. Well, I'm already blessed. <gasps> Look at this. It's a prayer pocket. Which makes me feel guilty that I don't have Arlene's. It's all done. I haven't sent it to her. It's a prayer pocket, you guys. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to cry. Oh. Let's, let's read the prayer. I, I think I can read it. And let's just say this prayer is for everybody in, in the chat. Prayer. May the day go by joyously. In the morning of purity, in the high noon of faith, and without nightfall upon the spirit, while we have the light, let us walk in light. In God's light, let us see the light. Amen. Oh, Annie V, that is beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm going to hang this up over on my... I'm going to hang it up over on my uh, room divider. I'm going to hang this up over on my room divider. Let me get this back in here. This is beautiful. You guys, I have to spend a weekend and clean off my desk. And I am so behind on all my projects. Like I said, I don't have Arlene's prayer pocket sent to her. I have things I want to send out. But thank you so much, Annie V, for that. Oh, there's more. She sent me some black, excuse me, some black cotton craft cord. I can use that. I'll put it. She sent me two of those. Annie V, you had just. You and Norma just blow my mind. <gasps> she sent me some Magicos. You guys, I have never used Magicos. Now I get to play with some. Ah. Oh. Magicos. Drop Dead Diva. We got Sassy Sapphire. Prima Donna Purple. Drop Dead Gorgeous Green. Some kind of magenta and blingy blonde. Blingy blonde. Uh, and this is a microfiber spectacle cleaner <laughs> to clean your eyeglasses with. I'll use that. I'm keeping those out. Although my eyeglasses are not. Let's see what's it. Guys curious of what's in this big box? I sure am. I'll bet it, it feels like knitting needles. Could it be knitting needles? I don't know how to open it. Or maybe it's something to drink. 
no, it's just stuffed full with stickable ribbons in there. I'm not going to open them all. Those, these are ribbons and fibers. Looks like some extra bobbins in there. Some ribbons. Some Americana, a white rider. We'll use that. I like that. And what else is in here? Oh, some little pipettes. Can't drink this stuff. Some beeswax. They were just saying earlier in the stream that if you want to wax your cord, you can run it across the candle. But this is the same thing. See where the little lines are there? I'm not going to take it out, but you can run your threads across there. They're showing how to do it here. Right in there, they're showing how to wax your threads. It strengthens the thread for hand sewing, stabilizes threads to prevent tangling, smooths the surface of iron, and makes sticky drawers and windows slide. <laughs> and a sewing egg. Ah. Oh. A darning, a darning, this is a darning egg. They used to mend their socks. Now we just go buy another pair. But in the days gone by, when you just couldn't go down to Walmart and buy another pair of socks, they would darn, then this is a darning egg. This is, this is a collectible. Thank you so much, Annie, for that. What else is in here? Some... Uh, recollections powder I think this is glitter too it's a fine powdery glitter gold schminky schminky rich pale gold Dry go gauche. Dry gauche. I'm going to have to read those directions. I'm going to have to take a picture of it. Bronze, silver. Oh, this is... I, this, some of this is in foreign language. I can't read it. I wonder if you just mix water with it. I'll have to see how to use that. Some Arendac mixative. This doesn't stop. Here's some more of that schminky gold, pale gold. Wow. This is a Hero Arts. I'm thinking this is uh, like those pearl drop things. Yeah, pearl. I can't read it because the tag is on there. See, these are things I wouldn't buy for myself. I probably, unless I found them cheap on sale. Pearl, pearl drops, I think. I can't read because of the tag is on that. There's some more down in here. Stickles. Thank you, Rhonda. Some more recollections. This is embossing powder. That other might be embossing powder, too. This, not this, but this might be embossing powder. It says powder. I'll bet it's in, this is embossing powder. Oh, and some luminaire gold. Oh, bless her heart. A couple more in here. I think this is embossing powder too. I can't, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, product, luster dust, non-toxic. And some more Luminaire Perlex pigment. One more down in here. One more of these little luster dust. Super red, luster dust. Have you, any of you ever used luster dust? All right, let's put these back in here. I'll have to 
get out some of those cigar boxes and put these in a cigar box. So I'll have them at my ready if I want them. Thank you so much for all of this, Annie B. You're just, you are way, this made Christmas. This is Christmas. This is Mary's Christmas, believe me. Mary, this is one of the best Christmases I've had. Mary's Christmas. You guys just do it for me. All right, we'll put this behind my chair. And there's some more things down in here. Some more um, sashiko stitching. This could almost be used on the Mexican in the Mexican caboodle. Oh, a key, a silver key and keychain, and we got a a Tim Holtz paper doll. Some more sashiko and. Okay, I'm going to show this. This is a portrait of a friend that Annie V did years ago. As I know you love portraits, here's a sample of what I used to do. Annie V is an artist. And uh, this is a sample of, of what she's done. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Look at uh, the detail that she's done on this. Oh, Annie V, this is wonderful. I'm going to keep this with this. And I'm going to put this with... I have... I'm collecting the things that I get from Dee Dee Willingham when she sends me stuff. I'm going to put this with Dee Dee Willingham's. I'm going to make a journal of, of that. And I'll put that in there. And look at this. She stitched on here. A divider card, Betty Crocker recipe card library, and she stitched up a little piece of ruffle, maybe so she could find it. Gala member menus from the Betty Crocker dining room. Ephemera. And here's some journals. She she uh, had these. Oh, they had a name for these. And I can't remember what the name is. For these I want to call them sprockets but there's a name discs disc binders that she sent me what five of them four of them here disc binder journals I'm sure that she made these and these are probably some that she wasn't using so she sent them to me woohoo woohoo and my chair behind me is not going to hold all this stuff. <laughs> it's getting full behind me. Here's another keychain. Oh, this looks like it might open a pop can. Have you guys seen this? Look at that. Isn't that cute? Looks like a little metal gingerbread man. But I think these are, you can put these to open bottle caps with, I think. Some more fabric. There's a couple composition books. Roaring Spring. I've never seen Roaring Spring. Unruled. Oh, wow. Look. I've never seen an unruled composition book. Oh, wow. This will make a neat journal. This might become my January journal. One of them. Cool. Some tissue paper, some more tissue paper, another disc bound. I think this is a cover with some dividers in it. Very cool. Look how thick that is. Wow. And, oops, excuse the wiggling. And a plastic ruler. Ooh, this is cool. This is one of those Tim Holtz ones with the with the center mark. I've always wanted one of these because it, it has the zero in the center and then you can go out that way and out that way. Oh, wow. Thank you, Annie V. I'm keeping that out. 
And let's see what's in here. This is the last thing. Oh, I think this is oh, origami paper. Oh, for my kabuto. Look. Oh, well, Annie V. And this matches what Rosemary had. See, I have that one from Rosemary. Oh, Annie V, I love it. Thank you. This is going... Oh, I want to do some origami. Oh, this is staying out. <laughs> All right. So, let me... Let's see. I'm going to keep one of these composition books out. I'll have to sort all this stuff out. This is such a gift. Annie V, you are just so generous. I hope, Annie, when... I just had a craft of lunch over there. I have to go pick it all up after the stream. Um, Annie V, when I'm ready to put my art away, if I get to that point, I hope that... I can do what you do, um, share my, my supplies and stuff, um, what I have left of it with somebody who really appreciates and needs it. You just are so generous. And you too, Norma, uh, if you're out there listening, um, and all of you are. I hope that any V is, if I can just share a little bit of what these gals share when I'm ready to fold up my studio. And I will have to someday. I will have to someday. But I'm not there yet, so I'm not going to worry about something that hasn't come yet but just things like this you know things like this mean a lot and the rulers that she sent and the mini iron stuff like this people can use here's some ephemera i'm going to keep that out and craft papers and candy So, thank you so much, Annie V. I, you are truly setting an example for the rest of us. And may you be blessed for your generosity and your kindness. Because if there's anybody who does not deserve this, it's me. <laughs> uh, but I truly do appreciate it. Thank you for making my Christmas brighter. Let me put this box behind me I gotta sit down to do this because I gotta switch around and Norma I'm gonna have to beg Norma's forgiveness because I've mentioned her name 800 times already tonight so it is almost 11 o'clock let me come out and chat with you guys a bit thank you for watching me open my Christmas mail Blessings, yeah, Jude says, Blessings to Norma and Annie V. You rocked it and made Mary's day. Yes, you did. And I hope that that in my future, I'm not there, but when I get there and I'm ready to, um, ready to put my studio away, well, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but I hope I can share like you guys have shared with me. Look, she sent me some Lindy's Magicals. I have never worked with Magicals before. I've watched Janet Young do this. I think I've watched Dee Dee do it. I've never worked with these. So that's going to be fun to play with. Norma sent me this angel. It's just beautiful. I'm going to put this out on the TV. So let's see what's going on in chat. Awesome happy meal. Yes. And... Cheryl, I love your little Jingle Bell cluster that you sent me. An unruled comp book. I, I kept one out, Riri. I kept one out. I think this will become, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do for January. 
I think I'm going to do January in here. I do think I'm going to do January. And I'm not gluing the pages together. I might sketch. Or I might do um, the pages. Pages are pretty thin. Uh, but I might sketch on, on my pages in here. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of pages in here. Um, there's a hundred, a hundred leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, Jude says, whoop, whoop, blew our Mary out of the water. <laughs> a bottle opener. Yeah, I think that was a bottle opener. Did I put that back in there or did I keep it? No, it's right here. I think this is a bottle opener. Um, might help to open some, my. Uh, do you ever get? Do you guys get that? Those coffee, tortini bottles that in Starbucks too. It's hard to get those little caps open. Um, I haven't found any on the shelf here locally, but uh, lately I I buy it all the time. But the they, last time I looked, they were out of it. But this might help open that. You have to put your thumb under it and lift it up. But this might be the good thumb thing here. I'll definitely get use out of those journals. Yes. How fantastic is that rendering? Violet left. Thank you, Violet. I know she left, but I want to thank my mods again for taking care of my stream while I'm chattering away and working on my art. You guys, I truly do appreciate you, especially the last few weeks. You have done a bang-up job. And this is back where I opened the stickles. Jude says, yes, that's a collector's item, the darning egg and the mushroom one. Beautiful, Annie. Yeah. Yeah. I have a few wooden collectibles up on my de up on my computer desk up there with all my little knick-knack things. I'm going to put it with that. And Violet took care of Amanda. A tiny bit goes a long way. A drop of gorgeous diva. I love it. Uh... Jude says, whoop, whoop, Mary, <laughs> whoop, whoop. And we're talking about that box, that big box. Janice said, I'm not sure. It's, a, it's not a bottle of wine. It may be glue. <laughs> it turned out to be all the, a, a lot of little things, um, embossing and, and, uh, um, the luminaire pigment. I have been blessed tonight, haven't I? Who is here? She is here. Oh, that was Waka, Oaxaca, Oaxaca. This is where we were talking about Rosemary, and this is where they tell it, were telling me that Rosemary was here. Yeah, I'm in love with Rosemary's January caboodle. She's doing Mexico. I'm in love with it. <laughs> what can I say? I I got uh, it's uh, it's a sickness and there's no cure for those caboodles. I uh, I'm I'm still working on my china one and of course Annie V sent me a whole bunch of origami paper so I am my throat's dry from all this talking. I'm back to where Rosemary came in. So it's almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I want to say, see Rhonda above. Rhonda says, Mary, Rosemary said you need to pick the fabric for your doll. Otherwise, she's going to pick it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Rhonda. I don't know. Where do I go to pick it? I'll have to go look at... Um, I'll go, thank you, Rhonda, for telling me. I'll, I'll go look at that after chat, after my stream tonight, and see what she has out there. 
Although I, I trust Rosemary to pick something I love because I love everything Rosemary loves. <laughs> so I'll go out and look. Thank you, Rhonda, for, for pass, pass it, passing that on to me. So good night, everybody. Cheryl, thank you for the Jingle Bell cluster. I love that cluster. Thank you so much for that. And thank you to everybody who sent me Christmas cards and to the no-name Norma. <laughs> I keep saying Norma, 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 Norma. I've already blown it. And a special thank you to both Norma and Annie V for all the gifties. You made my, you just made my, you've made 2021. You, you've made a super December Christmas for me. All of you have. All right, everybody, it's the weekend. Next week is Christmas week. Have a great weekend. I won't be on again until Sunday night. Um, but Tanya comes on Sunday afternoon. Beth Schuler will be on tomorrow night. Uh, she comes on at 6 o'clock Eastern. Uh, I don't know if anybody's coming on during the day tomorrow. Um, Tanya will be usually comes on in the afternoons on Sunday. Riri! Riri, Riri, Riri. I almost, I almost, <laughs> I almost closed out my stream. Thank you so much, Riri. Oh, I don't deserve you guys. Thank you, Riri. Oh, bless your heart. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And do something do something to to make you smile that's what bootsy tells us do something to make you smile and maybe you just made me smile thank you so much for supporting the channel i don't deserve you <laughs> thank you guys bye